members of the band The Afters stopped by the station a few weeks ago while they were in town with Francesca Battistelli on the 100 More Years tour. They shared with us some of their feelings on what it means to be a Christian and some of the trials that they faced having the label Christian in front of their band name. The band has a new record due to come out April 16th entitled Life is Beautiful. The guys were really excited to tell us about some of the inspiration behind the new record and what we should be looking forward to. We're so excited for this. This is a record we've wanted to make for a long time and we're just really, really happy with how it turned out. That's and really cool. uh, the record's called Life is Beautiful mm-hmm. and uh, we wanted to make this record for, for years. It's kind of a title that's been hanging around in my head for a long time. And um, the, the album is basically uh, a collection of stories, kind of vignettes from life. Every song on the record has a story behind it, and it's the good things that we go through in life, it's it's the hard things, and then God's place in all those aspects of our life. You know, because I believe God's with us not only on the sunny, happy days, but He's with us on, you know, when we walk through the valleys and go through the hard mm-hmm. stuff. And so we've really experienced that in our own lives, so um, it, the album is just, just like we say, you know, life is beautiful, because through all things, yes. you know, God God makes things beautiful in life, and, and so for, for the uh, for the artwork, we asked our fans to send in pictures oh, cool. of what cool. is beautiful, and they will have tons and tons of pictures. We had thousands wow. of pictures sent in, wow. and we used them in the art, so, um, you know, it's pictures from all different aspects of people's lives, and what makes life beautiful to, to them, so... <laughs> you know a Christian rock band have you had any struggles since you're not mainstream rock or has it been different like definitely like having the title Christian rock Mm. anything um you know I think if you own it then people respect it you know there's there's people that feel I don't know I we come across musicians who almost feel like it's a a bad tag you know or something to be Mm -hmm. and I I don't know I I list grew up listening to Christian music um I'm a Christian now do I think that that Christian, I don't know, the, the idea of Christian music is a little weird because it's not a sound. Like, you have jazz. Well, that's a sound of music, sound. you know. But it's it's the only music genre that's defined by faith. But um, I think it could be a good talking point, too, for people. And a lot of times, like, we'll have people say, mm-hmm. a friend of mine introduced me to your music, and I didn't think that I liked Christian music, mm-hmm. but I love you guys' music. And because God's opened up the door for our music to kind of cross cross into some avenues where Christian music doesn't usually get to go. You know, we've had lots of TV and film placements, and we've had songs that oh, have yeah. been on mainstream radio. And um, I think it just is an opportunity f- to show people that, you know, Christian music is awesome. Calling it, calling it Christian music, yeah. in my mind, it, it gives an extra responsibility sure. to do it with, with excellence. Because if you're going to put God's name on it, then you need, you need, it needs to be really good. It needs to be done with excellence. Yes. And so for us, like, we really strive to make the best record that we can you know we take our time like we spent over a year on this record and and just really took our time and hopefully people will think it's worth the time that we put into it but uh you know if we're gonna put the name christian on it then it better be with excellence absolutely